Hi friends, we are going to look at a new set of problems that deals with leverage, L-E-V-E-R-A-G-E. -E. And in this problem, we are going to find out the degree of operating leverage, D-O-L, degree of financial leverage, D-F-L, and the degree of combined leverage or composite leverage from the following details. And we will interpret the results. Now, this is a very simple problem. Okay, yeah. kindly follow me. First thing is, let's show the income statement, performer income statement. Sales minus variable cost equal to contribution. Contribution minus fixed Cost equals to operating profit, also known as EBIT, earnings before interest and taxes, less interest payment, interest on debenture or interest on debt. And finally, you have EBT which is earnings before taxes, all right? Income statement. Now here, the output is given in units, 60,000 units. The selling price per unit is 0.6. So 60,000 units into 0.6 rupees, 0.6 per unit, that is equals to Thirty six thousand minus variable cost. What is variable cost? Variable cost per unit is point two. So again sixty thousand units into point two. So how much is that? That is twelve thousand. Okay, put that in brackets when you are deducting the uh, any figure. Any amount you put that in bracket, so the contribution will be twenty four thousand minus fixed cost. Fixed cost is given seven thousand. All right, so twenty four thousand minus seven is seventeen thousand. So your EBIT is seventeen thousand minus interest on borrowed funds so interest is given 4000 so finally your ebt is 13000 now let us calculate now the dol dfl and dcl all right now the formula for DOL, degree of operating leverage, is contribution divided by EBIT. So in this case, uh, what is contribution? 24,000 divided by EBIT, which is 17,000, and that works out to so 24 divided by 17, that works out to 1.41, all right? And DFL, now DFL, degree of financial leverage. Now degree of financial leverage, there are, you know, uh, you have to remember two things here. One is DFL when there is no preference dividend and DFL when there is preference dividend. Now, when there is no preference d dividend, DFL will be EBIT divided by EBT. So EBIT is 17,000 divided by EBT, which is 13,000. And that works out to, so 17 divided by 13, that is 1.3, 1.31. All right. Now, DFL. Now, the, the formula for degree of financial leverage, when there is 
preference dividend which in this case in this problem there is no preference dividend so we ignore this but I'm just giving you the formula so DFL when there is preference dividend is EBIT divided by EBT minus preference dividend the whole thing by 1 minus tax rate so this is the formula when there is preference dividend okay now let's find out DCL degree of combined leverage degree of combined DCL now DCL very simple DCL is equal to DOL times DFL that is one way of doing it or DCL is equal to contribution by EBT which in this case it's 24,000 contribution divided by EBT 13,000 so that equals to 1.85 all right so we are done with the calculation of DOL DFL and DCL now how do we interpret the results first one okay interpretation okay if number one for DOL the interpretation is a one percent change now when you say change it could be a one percent increase or decrease a one percent change in sales will result in a now what is DOL DOL is 1.41 so a 1% change in sales will result in a 1.41% change in EBIT all right so that is the interpretation second for DFL a 1% change in EBIT will result in a what what is your DFL 1.31 so will result in a 1.31 percent change in EBT earnings before tax or EPS earnings per share all right And DCL, degree of combined leverage, is a 1% change in sales will result in a, what is a DCL? 1.85. So 1.85% change in EBT or EPS in this problem you know we ignore EPS because there is no preference dividend all right there's no taxes so we don't have we don't have to find out the earnings per share but in case you have a problem where there, where is there's earnings per share so the EBT will be substituted by EPS so this is how you solve you know, a leverage problem, finding out the DOL, DFL, DCL, and interpreting the results.